Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings and good morning. This is my favorite spot in the desert. I'm holding the Viso or others as calling it Wizo uh, X809HW. And this time I have HW version in my hand. That means it has a wide angle HD camera, it's still 720p, and it has altitude hole feature this time. So, up upon all those features that I have presented before in Viso X809W. It has altitude hold and a wide angle 720p HD camera. Should be better than the, um, you know, the puny pinhole 720p camera that is found in many, many, uh, you know, these kind of quadcopters. So, as it is getting, uh, as it's gonna be more windy here in deserts, I thought first I will fly it and see how it behaves, and then I'll go ahead with my other RC stuff. So let's prepare it and let's fly it and see how it behaves and what kind of videos we can get. All right, quadcopter is on, blinking, everything seems to be fine, so let's fly it. Take off, holds the altitude of course, but yeah, not that accurate, let's just hold on, let's not jump to conclusions too quick. I wish it had a... Uh, uh, GB is old. It will be a very good replacement for people out there who cannot afford Mavic and looking for a quad that will do just the job for them. Flies very nice. Handle winds properly. All right. Let me just fly it around first get a shot of desert. I will not go too far because uh, I might lose the video, uh, sorry, the uh, control signals. So I'll just keep it here. Where is the speed level? Okay. Yeah, because I'm having trouble going forward against the wind. So let me just go higher. And it's shooting videos, so we will take a panorama from there. It's good that all the LED lights actually show you that something is happening on the quadcopter. Range is nice on this one, huh? Not bad for this toy. Okay, that was nice. Let's take a shot of this road with the desert, but not this close to the ground, maybe. I'm not sure what kind of camera it is at the moment and what kind of wide-angle view it has. Man, it has a good range. I don't want to go too far because... Ah, I lost the range. <laughs> I lost the control. I don't want to go too far because then it will try to auto-return to home, which is somewhere <laughs> here right there so let's give it a try let's see how the auto return to home on the compass based quadcopters work so it's holding altitude and auto return to home look it's just going away okay one moment oh i lost the control i lost the controls one moment so now it's here auto return to home now it just starts going away no matter what you do it goes away from the home location all right enough video now let's take some pictures shall we i hope it will get a good picture let's take a shot from high above
Um, flight performance was nice. It actually holds its altitude properly, but without GPS, it's just drifting a lot. Okay, one shot here, one shot here, one shot of sun coming out, sunshine, sun rising. Okay, and one shot here. All right, come down here. We know it will not return to home, but we know it has auto land feature. So let's just give it a try. All right. Very good. Take off. And let's land from this altitude. All right, it landed. Now what happens if you press the stop button? It will just stop everything and drop to the ground. And it tries to fold itself as well. <laughs> anyway, so that was nice. Everything works properly. It's flying very well. Now, something that real DJI Mavic cannot do. Let me show you. These flips, this is something the Mavic cannot do. Let me just start recording the video so we can see what flips look like from onboard camera. Okay. <laughs> yes, don't try that on DJI Mavic. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.